Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. What was that, Stan? Huh? No, today I'm not going to play the piano here. We have a special guest. We are going to visit my friend Dave Cho's warehouse through my space transporter. So come follow me. transporter really works. Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. We're at the Cho headquarters, his warehouse. And what do we got here? Hello? <laughs> Whoa! How you doing, buddy? What are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean, what am I <laughs> doing here? Wow, this is really set up for the Stevie Weeby Show, isn't it? What? Wow. <laughs> This is fantastic. This is fantastic. It just how is this mic here? Did you plan it this way? I don't know, man. Can I be honest with you? I went to a space transporter and I didn't think this was gonna happen. I wanted to see, but I didn't think I'd be transported this fast. Wait. I was literally in my apartment like thirty seconds. And you're ago. just here now. I'm here. I, uh, don't, this is doesn't amazing. The, doesn't the Stevie Weeby show start with a song? Oh yeah. Wait, I don't want to tell Stevie Weeby how to do the Stevie Weeby show. I'm just, as a fan of the show, I know it starts can you with... Help, can you help me out and we can do something together? Yeah, sure. Okay. You just go... I'll do that. Wait, was that good? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was just, that was really, we just improvised. That wasn't planned, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a 10-hour thing. <laughs> this is going to be a 10-hour episode. You're a funny guy, dude. You're a funny guy. You're, wait. Can I tell you where? Wait. Ask me where I, where I just came back from. Where, where did you just come back from? <laughs> <laughs> Lake Gregory. I Tell me more about Lake, what's Lake Gregory? Lake Gregory is... One of the shittiest lakes I've ever seen in my life. It smells like sulfur? It looks like a kid's piss pool. Like, like it's dirty? It's dirty. And they, they charge you $25 to ride their crappy water slide. Oh, there's a water slide? There's a water slide and there's kayaks. And the, the lake is like, it looks like a swimming pool. Why so, did why did you, where is Lake Gregory? Exactly. But you, <laughs> but you know where it is. Where? Because it's in Crestline. And I know where you, you know where Crestline is. Oh. In, because we. Yep, go ahead, it say was, it. It was in Big Bear. Close to Big Bear. But we passed by that. I had deja vu there, Dave. It's in Big Bear where we recorded... The Monchi album. Monchi. Yes. Negamola. Yes, sir. Monchi. Yes, dot bandcamp sir. Dot com. <laughs> M-A-N-G-C-H-I <laughs> dot com. These are my people. <laughs> um, Monchi tell- Anthem. Monty dry Anthem. hump in the dry lake <laughs> right that song was inspired by like, big bear you know what i like seeing eddie laugh and smile like that is it good seeing eddie kim yeah give a shout I, out I to love eddie it kim. let's, let's shout out to eddie for being and alive dylan, shout out to dylan he's filming all this shit george you're gonna edit this shit later we're not editing anything because i not? think it's gonna be awesome if we just just keep everything S- stevie in. this is your show i know i'm very I'll tell. I'll be honest with you. Be Number real, one, be real, be I'm real. being real. Number okay. one, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> nervous. I'm a little nervous because I've yeah. been away from the pod world for a very long I know. time. Can we talk about that too a little we'll later? We'll get into it, but I okay. just want to start by saying it's an honor <laughs> for me to be on your show. And so, um, as a fan of the Stevie Weeby show, yes, sir. There's things I love about your show. Okay. Um, one of the things I love about your show is the snacks. That you provide for the the guests. I don't know I, if I don't have any snacks. No, but since you came to the Stevie Wee show show in in my in, the Cho, in my house, in the Cho headquarters, can I can I start by by showing you? Uh oh. This is in case I you, didn't even know that was there. Okay, so unless your diet hasn't changed 
like you have a pretty shitty diet. Yes, so sir. So un- unless it's changed, I kept that in mind. So yeah. I, I I've been eating shit. All right, this is what I have yeah. for you today. Oh shit! I have dried mango slices. Yes. Yes. I have zero sugar. Can Red I drink Bull. that now? Oh, let me it's just cold. have some here. It's cold, Thank right? You, dude, high five. It's cold, right? It's cold. So I'm zero sugar. Drink this shit no, now. look what else. Look at the other options, though. What? I have the nice oh, ginger I'm beer. All of that I have shit. ginger beer. Yeah. And I love Lacroix. No, but look at what flavor it is. Let me see Lacroix Passion Fruit. This is the white, the white can. This is the hardest Lacroix to find. Okay, I, I love to, it. I had to go to three different stores to get this. Dylan, is that true? Everyone get, can find the orange, the peach yeah. ones. I the, like apricot. I like the peach and the uh, grapefruit. The, but that's at every store. This is the passion fruit. This one's almost impossible to find. So, just the. Uh, can I tell you something that we did at uh? Do you mind if I have it? Yeah, you can have okay, it. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, we uh, oh, so the and, and there's no stand. There's no stand. I was trying to find Stands, a stand. We so left I, stand because I didn't think the transporter. So would I have work. this guy. What? I have this guy. Yeah, what's his name? Macaulay Culkin. Oh, Macaulay. So, shout out so. to Macaulay. Going back to the trip, we did something that's probably pretty bad, but I'm glad we did it. We trespassed into Lake Arrowhead. It's a private lake. Why would you just admit that right now? You're gonna Okay, we'll edit that out. Okay. Edit. Um, but anyway, so we went there. And we got the code from Anthony from uh, Hold on. Lake Gregory. Thanks for the code. Steve. I love your shout outs to Lake Arrowhead and yeah. to Anthony, but now that we got the snacks out of the way, yeah, I'm going to be very uncomfortable doing the show with you unless we just, I, I like, I like how you started just going in hot, just starting right away with Lake Gregory. Yeah. I can't wait to hear about Lake Gregory. Right. But just to start like clean, just yeah. to just jump into it. Yeah. Let's just get all the resentments out of the way. Right. Oh, Let, let's it's just get, let's get getting real. Let's just get the, so that we have a good show. Yeah. Let's just get all the resentments out, you know, because resentments lead to anger. So let's just start off the bat. Who is the most difficult guest you've ever had on the show? Who, who, who has, who has been the biggest diva asking for the most special treatment, the most restrictions? Uh, I, that's a good one. That's a good one. I mean. Well, you, it was basically you. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was you. Okay. Was Thank you. you. Why, yeah. why, why are you nervous saying that? No, I know it's me. I, yeah. Even, even, it was a, you. even, even well, cause, ask, I, cause everyone who I asked, they had no problem coming no over problem. to my apartment and just doing it at my place. But you're the only one out of all the guests that didn't want to go there. On a scale of one to 10, how, div- how uncomfortable is this conversation right now? Uh, like an eight point two. It's that okay. Oh, seven point eight. Yeah, not bad. It's not that bad. No, because it's like because I could see it's not that big of a deal. Because I'm we're here now and this is better we're here than now, I, I expected. But even even I feel like an asshole as I make special requests to you. Yeah, but you have your reasons. Can you can we talk about those? Why? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you start. You start. You do it. Why? 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 We here? we we are on a bus. We're on a Metallica-sized tour bus. <laughs> oh, you're, you're talking we're, about our t- we're the tour? We're on a Metallica-sized tour bus, and you tell me, hey, Dave, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. Yeah. The Stevie Weeby Show. I go, yep. hey, Dave, will you be a guest on my show? I, I go, of course, Steve. Mm-hmm. I wasn't bullshitting you. I, I gave you my word. I said, of course, I'll do it. Yeah. I never told your brother I'd be on his podcast. I never told Kalila I'd be on their, their podcast. But I told you. You do mine. I'm a man of my word. You I, I you yep. asked me. I said, yeah. Yeah. I I. I'm going to be honest. Mm-hmm. I didn't think you'd ever do it. Really? I didn't think you'd ever do it. Really? But I told you I would do it. Yeah. Then a few months goes by. Mm-hmm. And the Stevie Weeby show starts picking up steam. A little bit. You a little start bit. off. You start off with Money Mark. <laughs> Dude, Mark. Episode one, yeah. Money Mark. You have the legend. Wait, who, can who, I tell you? Who's Money Mark? Money Marks from the goddamn Beastie Boys, who's one of the, my favorite bands ever. One of our favorites. I know. We love the Beastie We're Boys. We're in Big Bear. Hang on. So you got yeah. legendary Money Mark. Oh, you don't even know. I asked him on the airplane ride back from our last gig. So what does it mean when this Dylan, guy- Dylan, do you remember that flight? I do. It was from New York back to LA. So what does it mean when legendary Money Mark says to you, right? He's I asked been him in the, the Beastie plane. Boys, played with- Fucking every single legendary yep. mm-hmm. played with everybody, right? Yep. Says to you, he, the most important song of our generation is Thong. 
What does that mean? What does that mean when Money Mark says that to you? I don't think Money Mark said, no, he said, said that. No, he's, he's said that to me at least 10 times now. He'll oh. call me. Dude, Probably. we made up Dong within like two minutes. He sends me links. And Just he to goes, let the viewers know, th- viewers know, Mangchi. Dong was Bank, created. M-A-N-G-C-H-I. In, I'm doing a commercial okay, okay. for us. M-A-N-G-C-H-I dot bandcamp dot com or Mangchi dot com. Dong, D-D-O-N-G or T-O-N-G means shit. In, in Korean. We wrote it in this warehouse like yeah. in like five seconds. Five seconds. After we wrote it, Mark looked at me. We were the thinking, who- he, thinking he was joking. And he said, that's the most important song we've ever done. But And since that time, he's called me and sent me text messages and said, Dave, this is the most important song of our generation. Dong. Dong. That means shit. And we, we, that's all we say. Repeat, we repeat dong over and over. Right. And everyone in this room created it, right? Am yeah. I wrong? It was us four. It might be the hey, best. Get, get the Eddie back. It here. might. It like, might be the. Give Eddie some props right there. Get, get it him. might be the best song we've ever recorded. Well, According we made, to, I thought it was a joke. I okay, but was look, fun. We're, we're getting off topic. Okay. okay. Anyone who's so listening. Where can they hear Tong? Mangchi M A N G C H I dot Bandcamp dot com. It's off the Cold Waves. E- no, it's off the uh, Rats, in, Rats a puzzle. in a Puzzle EP. Check out that EP. We made it in one night. We made it in one right, night, Eddie? and it sounds Dylan? like it. <laughs> Do we make it one night? It took let's, us an hour. Let's give him a little taste. Okay. Dong, 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 dong. Gotta take a shit. Dong, dong. Gotta take a shit. Dong Mario. Gotta take a shit. Gotta take a shit. Gotta take a shit. Dong Mario. It sounds better. It sounds better. Uh, yeah, no, so actually, we're not it doesn't. It, it doesn't. Well, we're not doing it justice. So de- definitely check that out. Rats in a Puzzle EP on Monchi Bandcamp. All right, okay. we're getting off topic right no, now. No, but I love what you're doing. You you just keep. No, I like, we're, get, we're getting. I never no. even thought about bringing that up, but you did. I loved it. But Mar- keep going. So, so. I respect you asked, Mark, you by asked, the way. You asked me to be on your podcast. Yeah, dude. I'm going to be course. honest. And if you have another resentment about this, you can say that yeah, later. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be real but talk. I is this going to be real talk? I'm doing real talk okay, with you. Okay, okay, okay. In my mind, mm-hmm. there's a side of me, a strong side of me, mm-hmm. you know, this fucker's never going to do a podcast. Right. Oh. Okay. I want you to. Yeah. There's a side of me that wants you to. Yeah. But there's another side of me as... This fucking guy's not going to do a podcast. Right. It's been and hard so, work, and, yeah. but, but, but I say to myself, if he does, then I'll be a guest on it. Right. So then you have legendary Money Mark first episode. First guest. Then you have every member of Mark Chion. I Then you have uh-huh. your brother, your sister. Uh, then you Kalila. have... Kalila. Yeah. You have Kalila. Liz Lee. Liz Lee. Norman Woods, skater. The best it episode ever. My Which favorite. One? The beautiful Asukira. Oh yeah. I'm sitting in my house, listening Ooh. to this episode. Sh- uh, shout out to Asa. Your help. You, shout out to Asukira. She, she definitely helped out the channel. So you can follow her at Asukira <laughs> three, and Asukira just Asukira and at uh-huh. Asukira five uh-huh. and six. She's got like several Instagrams. Yeah. Yeah. And um, um, fantastic episode. It was fun. You transcended the podcast genre. You think so? You, you transcended the pod genre okay. with that episode. What was your favorite topic we talked about? I'll, me. T- I'll tell you mine. Me. Really? When you guys talk about me, it's my, it was my favorite subject. But can I tell you my favorite topic? Yes. Micro dicks. <laughs> yeah, you guys talked about micro dicks for a long time, <laughs> yeah. which got me to get on um, Google. Yeah. And look up micro dicks. Yeah. But yeah. then I couldn't look it up because I have a f- blocked phone. Oh. I have a I have a uh, I have a adult I have a phone that's protected from me looking at pornography or anything. You still have that? Yeah, up? I still have that. Dude, I'm proud of you, buddy. So I couldn't look I'm up micro penises, but I know that they're like this big. They're like a button. Okay, but before yeah. we get off topic with micro dicks again and, yeah. and thong, let's not talk we'll, about we'll that. get to all of it. Okay, okay. We'll get to thong. Yeah. We'll get to micro. Mm-hmm. I'm like this guy has an amazing podcast. I, it's I a YouTube show. It's a YouTube show, but whatever okay, it is, yeah, it's amazing. Thank you, it's, man. It's Stevie at his finest. Thank you. Thank I love you. Stan. You love Stan. I love the snacks you provide. Mm-hmm. I love it when you read the letters. Mm-hmm. I like it when you freestyle the music. Yep, yep. I like it when you when you. Uh, what about Lil Ray? You I, like- I like it when you made Kalila turn around and you ver- versus your brother. Oh, the, yeah, and yeah, yeah. She had to guess. Uh huh. And I love, love Lil Ray. Thank He's you. My thank favorite. you. And that card meant a lot. I have it on my piano. Okay, thank so you. So he made me a birthday card, 
And so I the, read so it. The, and so the birth and current. Of, it's because of you, though. Of Can the, I give you props no, now? No, wait. Let's okay, get the okay, resemblance. Okay, okay. The birth and currently up until this point, the Stevie Weeby show is mm -hmm. what? One year now? No, it's just been a couple months. Eddie, when, when was our last show? So it was after I I filmed like a week after our, when we got back from New York the right. Steve Aoki thing. All right, so it's 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 been a few months, mm -hmm. and you've asked me on several occasions. Oh, yeah, I Dave, wanted you. you said you would be on the show. Yeah, Are I'll, you going to be on the show? Yeah, you're like top. Currently top three. in my life, yeah, I had the biggest art show of my life, planning. and we loved it. We loved the art so show. So I, I I said I'll do it after, mm -hmm. but in the meantime, I've not done a podcast in two years. Is that right? I've done no interviews. But and, why? and when it was time to do the Cho Show, I had Howard Stern, CBS News, every talk show. I mean, it was like the publicity machine was starting, and uh, I was sitting in the middle of uh, an interview with uh, Jen Yamada from the LA Times. Mm -hmm. I was getting interviewed about uh, the LA Times, and I talked to her for a few hours, and around the second hour, I was like, I don't understand why I'm even talking to you. In your mind or out? No, I said it out loud. Oh, you said it to her? And I said, no disrespect to you, no offense to mm -hmm. you. Not, it has nothing. I, I just I, I just don't understand why I'm doing any press. Mm -hmm. Because the Cho Show is a free show. I had an application process, which it, thousands of people applied. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't need, I didn't need to publicize it. Right. And then what else? I, I don't want to explain what it is. It's just, you just come to it and experience it. That's yeah. it's like weird when you like see everything in the preview and then you go to the movie and you, you know yeah so I was like I can't fucking believe this but I'm not gonna do Howard Stern my hero I'm not gonna do CBS morning show I'm not gonna do LA Times LA Joe Weekly Rogan? I'm not gonna do Joe I'm not gonna do any press I love Joe Rogan Joe Rogan's okay. the best shout out to Joe mm -hmm. but I have to do Stevie Weeby show <laughs> because I told him I would do it because he's my friend, because I'm proud of him. So this is. So I turned down every major news source, and I said, I can't believe this, but I'm gonna do the Stevie Weeby show. Dude, thank. But 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 not only that, I said the Stevie Weeby show is crazy. Mm hmm And I know you have a lot of changes in your life that we'll get to. That I want to go in depth on it. Yeah, I got some. We got stuff to talk but about. But I yeah. I was like the Stevie Weeby show. <clears throat> mm hmm Has some production, right? It has some production. It's not live. It's not live. Right. Yeah, George, shout out to George. George shout out to George. Yeah, shout out to George. And so I, I, I said to myself, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't, we had a good time. Yeah. We used to talk about everything. Oh, yeah. I created a show called DVD ASA. And that's. Double vag, double anal, sensitive yep. artist. You came on my show. Yeah. You, we, I'm so proud I remember, of. I remember. I'm so proud of what we, we, we talked about shit. To this day, people. I wish someone else would make a show like that. Yeah, that was to me uh, what we created. The thought, the time, the energy. That was we put no thought into it. Yeah, but it, it, it was, was a great. Fun, it yeah, was there were some fun, fun times. Can I? Can I? But, give you? but I don't know who you are now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I do know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, You've yeah. changed. I have, man. And, and so I, I don't know what you, I don't know what we can talk about, and you don't know what I can talk about. Yeah, yeah. And so when you say, "Hey, come do my show." Mm -hmm. I'm conflicted. I go, of course I'm going to do Steve's show because I told him I'd do his show. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know this guy, George. I don't know who your team is. It's just me and George. Do you so. remember when I did DVD, I say there was a big banner that said, once you come on, come on the show, you're fucked. Yeah. There's no take backs, no backsies. And yeah. the amount of celebrities that came on our show that had asked to have their episode removed. Who, who, can I mean, I'm not going to say okay, them now, say but the there, there's episodes of DVDSA that have never been aired because we recorded it and I sat in this couch and I was like, oh my God, that was the best show ever. And I'll get the call and they'll say, if you release that episode, we're not friends anymore. And oh. so I chose friendship over. And so there's, there's at least 10 episodes that have never aired. They're still in the vault. They're in the vault. I'll die, yeah. you know, they'll probably never come out. And so that's my conundrum. Is I love Stevie Weeby. Mm -hmm. I respect him. I respect what you've done with the show. I'm mm -hmm. proud of you. Mm -hmm. But when you ask me mm -hmm. to do the show, I can't surrender because I have fear. Because I don't know where your show is going. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you're going to ask me about shit I don't want to talk about. Oh. And then you have the same thing with me. 
Yeah. And so this is my, this is, I'm, 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 no, no, I'm this surrendering is good. to you now. No, and this telling is good. You this is good. The reason why to the Stevie Weeby audience that, and you guys can call me every name you want, why we are in this transported, we're in my warehouse right now, mm -hmm. but we are doing the Stevie Weeby show. Yes, sir. We're doing the Stevie Weeby show at my place because there's things that I don't know if I'm ready to talk about yet. Okay, that's you that, and me. That's fair. Have talked about stuff in public and private, things that should never be talked about. Oh, I know. And especially in private. I know. You've told me stuff that you should never, ever in your fucking life say out loud. I know. I know. <laughs> and so I've told you a lot. There, uh, I've told you stuff that I haven't told my mom and dad. And those are things. And those are things. Those are things I can't unhear. But here's the thing today. I want to talk about those things. And because we're not live, oh. we should talk about everything. Oh. And then you have the choice to edit it out or not. So people that are viewers, right? A lot of people just listen to this show. Yeah. But some people watch it on YouTube. For those of you who watch the Stevie uh, Weeby Show. You can show, only watch it. We don't have the podcast okay, format. For those of you who watch the Stevie yeah. Weeby Show. Yeah. For the trained eye, if you see like a weird glitch or cut, that means we probably talked about something and we cut it out. Oh, or, yeah. or Stevie cut it out. And mm -hmm. so that is why. Mm -hmm. And I want to get this resentment out. If you, if you yeah, don't, no, no, uh, no, if no. I like what you're doing. This, I like is what, what you're doing. this is what I think that happens in your head. And you can tell me if I'm, yeah. if I'm making shit up or mm -hmm. this is Steve. Damn, we just had Asa on. We had Dylan on. We had Eddie on. We had Money Mark on. I thought Dave was my friend. <laughs> I thought no. Dave was what the. Fuck? I didn't take it personally. Why, why, why does this guy? I had my brother on. Yeah. What the fuck? This guy. Can I oh, just? Oh, oh, he's gonna come on, but he wants to do it at his place. <laughs> yeah, I was a little like. What the fuck? I was a little confused, but then I thought about it, Dave, and this is the conclusions I came up with because in your past, you've had some problems. Like you'll say something, you know, like you. you I don't want to get into, but you've said I'm, stuff. I'm grateful. I have no regrets. I'm grateful. For every negative, horrible thing that's happened in my life, because all those things do is they challenge me to be a better person. And you have become a better person. Thank you. Yeah. So and, uh, I'm, I, I want to start by yeah. saying I'm sorry, but, oh, dude, but, but before we dive into Lake Gregory, yeah. <laughs> before we dive into, into Thong and yeah, all these yeah. things, yeah. I just, if you, I don't want to start the show with you being like, fuck. Fuck this dude. Why no, are we doing come this shit? I don't know. I want to no. get No. No. I mean, guys, did I was that any energy coming like that? The way he's just hey. No, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy just hey. that you're on. Hey. I'm happy to be here with yeah. you. This is this is fine with me. This is even better than I thought. I thought You know who my favorite guest on the Stevie Wee show is? You said Asa. Nobody. I love you by yourself. Oh, oh but that people want to see guests and everything, you know? There's a What is guess, that smell right now? What is that smell right now? Did you fart right now? It might be my breath. It smells like feet or... Thong? Is it your feet? It might be my feet. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> or his shoes. Let me see. Is it your shoes? Is your breath away with no socks? No, these are clean. It I'm might just be my breath. I'm catching a hard... Yeah, light, so. I'm so sorry. But anyway, um, can I... Can I can I do real talk with you? Okay. I so, want to get this off my chest. Okay, get it off. This is real. I mean, okay. I, I can't get more real than this. Because okay. I was on the, when Monchi was going on for at least a year or two mm -hmm. years, I was on your payroll. Yeah. And I, and I, I'll, I was getting 2000 a month, right? And what I'm realizing now, since I'm kind of hustling and kind of like, realizing how much work it takes to you know what i'm saying yeah i'm realizing that wow i could have i could have done more and maybe i kind of like was i took that for granted like as far as what you were actually paying me a month and what what, what my output was because let me tell you something me doing this show is making me realize how much work and time and effort it really takes to keep keep it going on so i just want to let you know that that i realized that wow like i really had a good when you know during the manchi days you know and all you ever, i had do you have resentment about manchi being over 
or um, over I, us? Or, no, no resentment because it's. I mean, come on, guys. After, we had a great I, time. We I, toured the. I had the time you know of. I'm saying? I had, had the time of my life. I did too. But I'm 41. I'm 40 something too. <laughs> At the end of the last tour, yeah, I was looking at Money Mark, and I was like, I don't know how this fucker has been doing he, this for 40, 50 he, hour long. He's an animal. And I said, you know what? I'm cool with just being an artist. <laughs> I don't, I, I, you know, I, yeah. I, I had the time of my life. What was your favorite show? Oh, my God. I mean. I want to actually, like, I don't I'm not going to put you guys on, but I want your guys' feedback, too, because, Eddie, you were all there doing, wait, wait, you were there, wait. too. Wait, Start of the show, yeah. you should just get all the resentments out and okay. then dive into the show. Okay. Well, is that, okay? Is that yeah, cool? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I or just, you want to just dive into the show? No, well, I wanted to let you know, I want to get that off my chest okay. as far as the, like, I took that for granted, like, being on the payroll and- Do you know what that feels like for me right now to hear that? What? To hear you say that. What does it feel like? It feels crazy. Why? Because I don't know what you're thinking. No, I'm letting you know. I, for this the, has been on my okay, mind. Eddie, have so I brought... If, if we're, if we're Eddie, gonna, this is real, right? Okay, so... If this we're, is real if we're, talk, So dude. if we're doing real talk, yeah. and you're getting your resentments out, then I need to get my resentments out also, mm -hmm. right? Let's just do it, right? <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Think, the, think about it. Think about, no, think I'm about just it. thinking about yeah. how expensive the Machi Tour was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this, just, real, is this real talk? Yeah, okay, just the ahead. bus. Just the bus is like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't have the numbers in front of me, but it was like hundreds of thousands, right? What, hundreds of thousands? Just uh, uh, everything. It just, it, it, it ended up being a very expensive thing because also we pretty much were going to make it a free concert, but you know, the the clubs made it at least like five, ten bucks, and then all the Jeez. we gave a, what about three hundred dollars worth of gear to everyone at all every merch show. for free. Yeah, I mean nobody does that. I I was talking to James from Metallica, and he's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" He's like, "Oh, you talked to him about the tour?" Yeah, I mean he he he. I said I know we're like nothing even close to anywhere in the Metallica ballpark frame, mm -hmm. but when I explained to him that we're doing a tour that's free, pretty much free, mm -hmm. and we're giving away like three to like $500 worth of free shit, t-shirts, limited edition prints, stickers, hats, everything. He's like, he's like, you're, you're fucked up, man. <laughs> um, wow, dude. Do you guys know that? No, the real cost, he's saying the real cost now. No, the, mer the merch, we had to give away at least like three grand a night. Yeah, I mean, it, it was. Wait, wait, say that again. Three grand of merch a night, Dylan? Yeah, oh, yeah. Eddie, yeah, did you know that? All the I shirts. knew that all that shit. And and for me, oh I was just like, God. nobody does that. What what is that like to 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 just give shit away? Just it's crazy. you know. And so uh, and so. <laughs> Ooh, you just made me think of something. Too. No wait. So oh, I'm wait, looking at going. I'm looking at the spreadsheet. Ah. Oh. And then I got the lead singer of my band <laughs> that says I can't make practice because I got to work in a sandwich shop <laughs> where I make ten bucks an hour. <laughs> and I'm like, it's all going to shit. Because this guy has a part-time job at uh, Fat Cells. Shout out to Fat Cells. Shout Sells. out to Fat Cells. You amazing still sandwich. Yeah, amazing. Fat uh, Texas. Very good sandwich. But keep going. So. Wow. So so at that point, I go, how much do I got to pay this guy not to work at Fat Cells? Yeah. Yeah. Right? So yeah. I said, how much do you make you at Fat You were doing me a great I said, how much do you make at Fat Cells? And it was like, what, oh, $1,500 oh, or God. something? I said. I almost lost my finger. Okay. So I said, here's $2,000. Literally for you to do nothing. I, was I like, mean, that's what I'm telling you. I was like, but I'm telling you. No, but this I'm is, realizing I, how okay, I fucked up. Okay, but hold up. on, hold okay, on. Okay, okay. So I go, how much money do you make at Fat Cells? And you're like, I work part time. Uh, I work a couple hours a night, but you know, in the, the time that you did work, amazing shakes, right? Yeah, amazing yeah. sandwiches, Oreo shakes. Shout out to yeah. Fat Cells. Yeah. And and uh, and I'm like, <sighs> we're on tour. It's costing me hundreds of thousands of dollars. You have Money Mark. You have Heather Leather. You have all these people, right? Yeah. And you have a guy who says, I can't make practice. Because I got I got to so. making $10 an hour. And then we're doing shows. Was that the and you're wearing And you're wearing a hat that says Fat Sal's on it. <laughs> I don't remember. And I'm like, I you're in a that. fucking band that has t-shirts, that has hats. I'm like... Why don't you promote us? <laughs> Why don't you promote us, motherfucker? You're in a band. Why are you promoting a fucking sandwich shop that remember pays the... you minimum wage that you almost fucking <laughs> lost your finger for that you know they wouldn't have paid for the medical if you lost your finger? 
I, I don't You remember. know if you got hurt on Eddie, the marching tour. was I tour. wearing Fat Sal stuff at the time? Oh, yeah. Eddie, Every fucking day you were. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm like, why the fuck is this guy a walking commercial for Fat Sal's? Wow, man. I don't remember. Doing and I'm like, I'm literally. And, and so I said, hey, uh, Steve, I'm going to give you $2,000 a month for you not to get a job. Yeah. So you can make practice. And you did. Yeah. And, and we got, you know, we, we practiced and we went on tour and we did the whole thing. Mm-hmm. But the whole time I was like, that's just the base. Oh, man. That's just the base. I would love to work with you. Yeah. Because I like you. I love working with my friends. What's the, that's the dream, right? Oh, yeah. You work with people you enjoy hanging out with. And I said, you could take this in any direction you want to go. If you want to start your own podcast, if you want to vlog, if you want to do comedy, if mm-hmm. you want to start your own solo project, if you want to do whatever, go for it. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm in the Stevie Weeby Club. Mm-hmm. I'm in the number one fan. Whatever you're into, I sat, I sat in the room right over there. Your brother called me three, four years ago. Mm-hmm. He goes, hey, Davey, uh, this is weird, but you know, my brother, he wants to come. He wants to, he'll, he wants to sit on the couch while we do the show. Can I, can, I, can I bring my little brother? Oh, you're taking it back history. I, I said, yeah. yeah, bring your brother. Yeah. The day you stepped into that fucking room, it was magic. Really? It was. As, well, can that, I just that, can I say my piece? That voice, that voice right there. I was nervous to meet that you, man. That goal. That. I was nervous really? to meet you. Really? I was like, <laughs> who is this man with this? Well, go- who I is remember, this boy? I said with I, this golden I put voice. I the chair by the bathroom. I go. You know what? I'm gonna sit over here. Let you guys do your thing. And I remember when I met you, I, bu- I kind of like I bowed. I gave you it's respect. It's like when you're go, dating. It's like yeah, it's like you respect, when you're dating man. a hot chick, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you meet her friend, and her and her friend's even hotter. Really? Your brother? I worshipped your brother. Oh, my brother's a man. I was man. a fucking shout kid. Shout out to Bobby. Reby. Shout out to Bobby Reby. Bobby Reby. We Bobby Reby. Yeah. Uh, shout, shout out to uh, Tiger Belly Podcast. Yeah, shout Tiger out to Bell, yeah, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Watch, yep. Matt, shout yeah, out to yeah. Matt TV. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Love Season Two. <laughs> shout out to um, what was he, what was the I forgot name? his new show's name. But uh, okay, yeah, so, yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, so, shout out to Bobby. Shout okay. out to Bobby. Yeah. So he he comes on the show. I'm I'm a, I'm a fucking you know I'm a kid like watching TV watching Mad TV yeah. and I'm like Bobby Bobby Lee is the fucking funniest Asian guy. He's pretty funny on dude on television. Funny dude. So then the funniest Asian guy you know brings his little brother. I'm like yeah I don't give a shit bring whoever you want. Mm-hmm. He sits on the couch, and I'm like, oh my oh my god oh my god, bathroom, oh my god. this is the funniest guy in the world. This is the fun like he, your brother's not even f- close to funny as you. Come on, dude. I mean, on he's, stage, come on. He's that, like, that, there's a difference. Listen, I don't need. Stand we're, up. we're on the Stevie Weeby show right now. Yeah. So I don't need to convince anyone else. Everyone, everyone who's watching the show right now already knows who the funnier Lee brother is. Yeah, you know, we don't have to get into that. We don't need to get into that. I, I remember. So I'm. The point is, you, I'm on Team Steve Lee. Thank you, thank you. That, you were team, always on my. Dude, I, you're always on my side, huh? You're always and on my so side. So as I'm on Team Steve Lee, and I'm like, this guy. At the time, you called me over there. I was is nervous. 40, at the time, was 40, fucking his fleshlight all night, playing video games all night, mm-hmm. no girlfriend at the time. Just. You're right. Just like mm-hmm. doing nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm like. No, I was working at Fat Sales at the time, I think. No, but after I gave you the two grand a month to just. Oh, I was this like, is before. start. This is the dream. Yeah. Start developing something. I'll, I'll get behind it. Yeah, yeah. I'll support it. And I think they call this term enabling. Right. Steve, what'd you do today? Uh, play Destiny. <laughs> Steve, what time, what time, what time did you wake up today? 4 p.m. Was it really 6 p.m.? Yeah. <laughs> Steve, what time, did, how long did you play Destiny? How, did you, how long did you play uh, FIFA last night? I can't do any night? of that shit anymore. Eight hours? I can't do was any it, of that what, shit. Was it, was it really 12 hours? It was yeah. more like 14 hours. Yeah. And I'm like, why the fuck am I paying this guy two grand to play video games? Yeah, it was enabling. Yeah. And rightfully so. And I'm realizing that now. And so I had resentment. Okay. Yeah. I had resentment. I was like, rightfully so. I was like, because dude, it was your money. And well, you know, it's just, I wanted, I want you to shine. I want you to grow. And so we're in the bus. What was our last show? LA. No, our last show was in New York. SOBs. SOBs. 
No, we but like Steve, on the tour, on the tour, the uh, tour. Eddie, Eddie Dillon. It was yeah, it was Los Globos. Los Globos. And so it was a big show because our, fa- our, fr- our, our family, our friends, was the, mm-hmm. and I was like, I think after this month, mm-hmm. I'm gonna cut Steve off. That was. And yeah. It wasn't easy for me. It wasn't right, easy for right, me. I was right. like, I think this is what I need to do because I don't think this guy's ever gonna grow as long as I do this. Right, right. And so I cut you off, mm-hmm. and then I hear rumblings about this Stevie Weeby podcast. Yeah. Money Mark first episode. And then the last time I talked to you at your birthday, shout out to Stevie Th- Weeby's yeah. birthday. Thank you for uh, throwing the surprise party. It was a it themed surprise and I loved it. Thank you guys. I found out that you almost make enough money off ads off your show to pay rent. Almost, I'm not quite there, I Dave. I know, but that's yeah. fucking huge. I know. You're I told- making Money yeah. off your golden voice. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's not easy, but that's why I'm telling you. I'm real. I, I, I apologize. Come to your house. I apologize. I come to your house for, I, for your it themed, and 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 this is what I'm looking. You want to see what I see? Yeah. I see a guy with friends. I see a guy surrounded. You guys. I see a guy. You guys. I, guy, I see a guy surrounded by friends. I see a guy surrounded by family. Yeah. Except your brother wasn't there. Well, Kalilo was there. No, but your brother wasn't there. He was there. in New Mexico doing, doing a show. Yeah, but he wasn't there. Okay, he wasn't there. Yeah. So I see a guy surrounded by friends. Yeah. I see a guy surrounded by a beautiful dog. Mm-hmm. A beautiful girlfriend. Yeah. I'm, I am a very lucky guy. I am. You're on a, another show about video games? Yeah. You got, um, you, so can I do a uh, WFE? Uh, stay tuned. Uh, worst fire team ever. Uh, we're gonna we're starting the channel worst fire soon. Team. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. WFE. WFE. Worst fire w- team ever. Worst fire team ever. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, we're gonna get into WFE. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is a long intro to your show. I'm this sorry. This is long. No, this this is still the intro. Well, we're gonna. We gotta, <laughs> this is still. I we, thought we, we were gonna like, get the resentments okay, okay, out. We gotta okay, get the resentments good, out. But this is good. We gotta. Clear, I wanted to. We tell, can't have a real show. By the show. way, I wanted to tell you that for a pretty long time now. We can't have a show. Ever since I started doing the channel, I was realizing how much work it was taking, and I was like, it was dawning on me, like, oh my god, Dave was paying me two thousand a month, and yet I'm not. This is when I was making nothing, right? And so I'm realizing, fuck, I fucked that off. I fucked that off. Eddie, did I bring it up to you? Of course. Well, look, better late than never, right? So I, I'm sitting there at your birthday party. Yeah. Looking at the the pizza. Yeah. The gluten-free pizza. Crispy crust. The LaCroix. Mm-hmm. The snacks. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you're surrounded by love. Oh, yeah, dude. Dog love. Mm-hmm. Friend love. And you know, woman who, love. Yeah, my girl. My girl set that up, by the way. So. Amazing. Shout out to her. Shout out to Ailani. I love you. Shout out to Ailani. Yeah. Amazing woman. Mm-hmm. And and your brother wasn't there, but we already covered that. Yeah, we, we, don't, have to, we don't have to talk about that. And and I and and, and, and I'm like, this guy has love in his life. Mm-hmm. He has a, a a show that makes money. Mm-hmm. It, it 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 records every Thursday. Every week we put every it week. Yeah. And I have. No part in it. I'm not supporting it. I'm not no. financially. Nope. And I thought to myself, I'm proud of this guy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm that proud means of a lot, this guy. dude. That means I'm a lot. I'm proud of this you. guy. Yeah. And and I, and then it made me think I did the right thing by cutting you off. You did. Because at the end of the day, it, it, you know what? Let's talk about enabling. Because it's similar to when when a drug addict or an alcoholic, you know, the the, the you know, the, someone keeps giving them money and they keep doing their, you know, yeah. in, their, in their, their disease and their addiction. And it, it's the same thing with that. Right. So the way you were kind of cutting me off made me realize like, fuck, I got to really kind of step up and, it, and, it's a and, sick, and do my it's thing. A, it's, it's like, I feel. So yeah, that's, feel that's real talk. That's real. Well, I feel, I'm like, I, I, I brought Steve along on this journey. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I can't just cut him off. So then I start feel guilty. Yeah. But then when I see you not doing anything, then the resentment starts. And yeah. then all of a sudden, yeah. I start not liking you. Right. But right. I but I do like you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't want to not like you. So I'm like, Steve's a grown up, he'll figure it out. And you did. Yeah, it's it's we're it's growing. It's I'm not quite there yet, but I just the thing about this type of thing, I just can't quit. 
Right. And it's got to be consistent. So yeah, that's the hardest thing I'm dealing with. Like it's got to be every freaking week. So I'm doing this and then there's vlogs involved. So vlogs vlog. and then this and then, you know, we'll see. I don't know. All right. So yeah. So me, that was the intro though. Are we still on the intro? This is your show. Man. Okay. Eddie, how, I mean, how, how is it so far? Are you enjoying this? Because I want you on here too. I mean, if you don't mind. Steve, yeah. my point was. Yeah. I, I, I feel, and also I feel bad because I like, I, I don't want to. No, no, no. I, I want, love what you're doing. Okay. I love what you're doing. Do you but, have any questions prepared for me today? No, no. Oh, uh, you just want to. This is just. Okay, I, this, this was my idea. Okay. And I, I wasn't going to force it on you unless you were open to it. Mm -hmm. And you said you were, so I'm going to take yeah. you at that. Was. We see each other once in a while. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll call you. I haven't you. seen you in a while since your show, though. But like, I know I'll see you at my show, show, or I'll see you at like mm -hmm. Norms at two in the morning, yeah, yeah, or I'll yeah. see you know. But it's always like there's a group of people, so we we haven't had a, like real like, talk. Real talk, yeah. And so, under the guise of podcasting, under the safety of the cameras and the mics, we're yeah. having real talk now. Yeah. And so we're get. I said I don't want to start this show until we get all the neg the. Let's just get the, 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 the bad shit out of the way. Yeah. And then we can talk about fun stuff. Well, that was the main issue with me is like the whole money thing. Okay. And so, I want to let you know, I'm, I'm, I, I wanted to apologize and make amends to tell you I'm sorry for slacking off when I was on the Manchi payroll. That's what I want to let you should know. Should we hug? Yeah, let's All hug. Right. Let's hug. That felt good. That felt good. That felt real good. All right. By the way, uh, your your show was emotional for not only me but my girlfriend. Like we both cried. Why did you cry? I don't know. That one. There's one part in it where you're forced to talk to your mom and dad. Mm. And I didn't even talk. It was this guy next to me. Who said something in, about his dead d dead father? Mm -hmm. And I just started crying. It was it was real. It was a real experience. So. You that was to? you crafted that. It was well thought out. That's a, you know. Thank you. It was well thought out. Your Thank whole you. show. I appreciate yeah. that. So. Do you? Do you? There's. Uh, I'm feeling really tingly because of this. When you, I love it. When you have something, I I, I knew. I know when I sell something and it, it's really expensive. Yeah. It's like a psychological thing. People like line up down the block. You know, when I give a James Jean print, which normally costs like three, four hundred dollars. For free at a Manchi concert. Wait, you just say James Jean? Yeah. Because I I got to get this off my chest. I, okay. James, I'm kind of mad at you. Shout I, out, can we do a shout yeah, out? Yeah, shout out to James. Shout out to James But Jean. I did ask James to do my show, and he kind of left it in the gray. Mm. So I still want you on, brother. I mean, if you're- Did he say yes? No, he didn't say yes or no. He just said, mm. well, what's it about, and who's been on, and so James, holler at me. Please, you know- I mean, because I, I want more artists. I, I and have stuff. at least two James Jean's DVD essay episodes that never aired. Why? Because. Okay, well. <laughs> he asked me not to air them. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, James, James is my friend. I don't want to. I'd rather I my my friendship to James is more important than you know. All right, well, James, if if you want to do it, I would love for you to be on. I that. would love. <sighs> love. No one is going to get to the core of James Jean than Steve Lee. Could I get to him? I'll ask him. I'll, I'll ask him. He's name. got a lot of... Uh, you can't break him down. He's kind of like... I think like, you could break him down. Well, he's got thick armor. He's very, very talented at what he does, too. And I, All maybe right, well, it look, takes... look, look. My point okay, is... I don't want to go off... There we was, love you, James. He, That's he the did, thing. We love you, James. He did a lot James. of artwork for Manchi. He did. He did our logo. And so there was... Some he, of my favorite shit he did. Right. The and, one where he's holding the hammer. And so the, my the, point the, is... Right, when, Eddie? Uh, you know, yeah. at the Manchi concert, we gave away a lot of free... Po like Aaron rare. Horky, James Jean, yeah. Esau. We gave away mm -hmm. these amazing artists. Shout out to Esau. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Aaron Horky. That was we had a good time with Horky too. Oh yeah. And 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 <sighs> and uh, those those things cost a lot of money, and we give them out for free. God. But when people think free, they think it's not worth anything. You know, you're making. I'm getting and resentment. So I'm getting resentment right now. Why? Not against you. Oh. But I'm still mad at Detroit, the bowling alley. What happened in Detroit? Well, I just want to talk to the camera now. Okay. So those of you who went, who went to our, uh, where was the bowling alley, guys? Majestic Lanes. Majestic Lanes in Detroit. We left free posters from the kindness of our hearts. So you guys would just grab maybe one or two. Not a whole goddamn stack of them. So I'm still mad at Detroit because they were they grabbed stacks and stacks of free merch. And remember, we, we researched they were selling it on eBay. Close your eyes. 
<sighs> Let's get it out. I'm going to be Detroit right now. Yeah. Don't look at the camera. I'm not. Look, okay. Get all your resentment. I'm, de- I'm going to symbolize Detroit right now. Yeah. Okay. Dear Stevie, we just heard your resentment towards me. Yeah. I, as Detroit, am suffering. I'm hurting. I'm okay. sorry I took more than one, but I sold those things, and I was able to buy food that, that month. I was it, able to buy water. Okay. I'm sorry I did those things, but I needed it. I saw an opportunity. I took it. Yeah. Is there any way you can forgive me? I guess I can. I, uh, Don't do it unless you want to. You can hold on to the resentment, but I am asking you, for the people of Detroit, for the city of Detroit, will you forgive us for stealing... <laughs> Basically free merch. Uh, yeah, but it still kind of bothers me. Is that fair? Yeah, that's com- of course it's fair. Okay. It's, you feel okay. how you feel. Okay. I um, forgive you, but it still kind of bothers me. That's okay. Right. Well, you know, it takes time. Yeah, yeah, it takes time. Okay. Well, now, my, my so, point, I had to get that off my, my chest. Po- my point was just free shit. And so... Yeah, it's fr- it was free, but... And, and so the Cho Show was also free. Yeah. And so... But I wanted to create something that was very special. So yeah. there's only seven people going through every hour. Mm-hmm. The show's costing millions of dollars and has hundreds of people in it, Dude, but God. only seven people can go through an hour. It costs millions of dollars? Just, we don't need to focus okay, on that. Okay, okay. But, but because it's free, people are like, they can just cancel or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so there's many people who didn't get to see the show and thought it was like a cool guy, like, oh, you got to be someone special. To, That's not true, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, just if you true. if you were open, honest, and vulnerable in the application, like, and you got it in on time, and so for what what would you say you 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 were in you were in a room yeah. with parents, strangers, with strangers. Yeah, you're in a group of seven. Yeah, and there was someone talking to. I still talk to some of them. But you're saying there was a kid in there who was talking to actors as if they were their parents. Yeah, they yeah, and he started crying, and yeah. that made you cry. Yeah. So for all the people, all the Stevie Weeby fans out there that didn't get to experience the Cho Show, you want to do a little bit for them? Are you open to that? Ooh. Is that too, is that, okay. I don't want to. No, no, no. Let me think, think about it. Just think uh, like, about it. Okay. Can we get into that maybe in the next next segment? I, I, I need to emotionally prepare for something like that. I can't. How, 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 would, you, how would you emotionally prepare for that? What would you need to do that? Well, who would pay? Oh, like, what do you like? Someone playing my father or something? I the actors that were playing the parents, mm-hmm. because you know there's security cameras in the whole thing. Yeah. They, uh, you know, and I talk to the actors at the end of the show show, and they tell me how the day, the how, how the night went. Yeah. And they said, they said there was a guy in our in our room, Steve Lee, who was giving us a real hard time. What? That's what that's what I heard. I'm just reporting back what I heard. <laughs> No, that's it's probably a different Steve Lee then. This is your show. Yeah. I don't want to make you do shit you don't want to do. Yeah. I'm asking you, you brought up the Cho Show, and yeah. I'm selling to all the Steve Lee fans who didn't get to come to the Cho Show. Yeah. Do we want to recreate some of it for them or 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 push it to later? We'll push it to later. We'll push it to later. What do you think, guys? Jump in right now? Yeah. We'll push it to late. We'll push it to late. No, they want to jump in right now. Oh, they want to jump in? No, they want to jump in. You want to, do you want to fucking do this? What the fuck am I doing here, dude? Oh, I I don't know. I don't know what you're getting. I mean, like, are we going to like do like the whole role play thing? Let's do it. Okay. Wait, who's going to play? I'm going to play your father. Can I have Eddie play? I'm going to play your father. Okay. Do you not want to do this? Yeah, I kind of don't want to do it right now. I don't know, because I'm not like... Do, will you want to do it later? Yeah, maybe later. You're not going to want to do it later no, either. No, I will, I will. A little later, I think I will. All right, you want to talk about something fun now? Yeah, let's talk about all something right. fun. Let's talk about something fun. All right. Let's, yeah, yeah. All right. Because yeah. uh, I don't want to like, because I don't want to like end up crying and make it weird. You know, I want it to be like kind of lighthearted, <laughs> Steve, the show. For, for, yeah. for those of you who are watching the Stevie Weeby show, Yeah. coming up later tonight, Lake Gregory... Coming up later, <laughs> later tonight, Steve finally confronts his father. Stay okay, tuned. Stay tuned. It's a commercial for your own show. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, I forgot. Can I give a little? Um, how how are we doing on time? We're an hour in. <laughs> We're an hour in.
Okay. <laughs>